You will need a Democratic candidate and a Republican candidate. On November 4th, you'll be hitting the polls to make a decision between these two candidates. The winner of the election is not decided by who gets the most votes, also known as a popular vote, but by each individual state. Your vote, and every vote of your state's citizens, will be counted and your state will officially support one of the candidates. However, your vote is not counted the way you think. Since each state has a different population size, it would not be fair for, let's say, Texas, which has a population of 23.5 million, to be counted equally as Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut, which have a combined population of 11 million. That would be a 1 versus 3 count when Texas has a bigger population. What happens is each state divides population size into congressional districts. The way votes are counted is by taking the amount of congressional districts in your state and adding one more vote for each senator in your state, which which is two. These votes are known as electoral votes. And when the pop Texas has 32 congressional districts and two senators, so we have 34 electoral votes for the state of Texas. The entire electoral college is the combined amount of electoral votes is 538, and the nominee that hits 270 electoral votes, or at least the majority of votes, wins the election and becomes the next president of the United States of America. <laughs>